Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Lee John Blackmore here, Super Easy Guitar. So this week we're doing Last Resort by Papa Roach. Let's zoom in and get straight into it. Okay, so here we go guys. I'm actually in drop D tuning and I've tuned back to normal. So that's uh, standard tuning, more or less. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this thick string, which is E, and I'm gonna tune it down using D as a reference. So no tuner required, just use D as a reference. Okay? If you're still not ready for that, then by all means use your tuner, okay? So now we're in drop D. You can play those bottom three strings open, and they'll play a chord, which is D. You hear it in a lot of metal, or blues, whatever. So our first chord, is gonna be this E5 with a B over the top of it. Okay, normally you'd say that was a C sharp, but because we've tuned down, the names change. But don't worry about the names. So, seventh fret on the A string with the first finger, and normally we'd play ninth fret on the D string with the third finger. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna move this third finger onto the bottom E string, and we're gonna put our pinky now on that ninth fret on the D. So now we've got on the bottom E, nine, on the A we've got seven, and nine again on the D. And we're gonna do a down up there, and mute straight afterwards with your palm. And keep it nice and tight. Or you could do down down if you're not, uh, not so confident with the down ups. That works just as well. Just make sure you mute it down with your palm, this part of your palm here, to keep it nice and clean. Move the entire thing, the entire chord, now down to the fifth fret. Do the same again. Move it down to the third, then second, and back up to the fifth. So it'll sound like this, okay? Repeats. Now on the record, there's two guitars originally, and you can hear the lower guitar. You can hear it down here. And that's just all bottom three strings covered. And then just open, open. All right, and that's just to give it a much thicker sound. It kind of sounds like a drop C tuning or a seven string guitar. We're not worried about that because we're just on a standard guitar. So now in comes this riff. Now it looks more complicated than it actually is. And the fingering is quite important here. You want to use your first finger hitting the seventh fret on the A string. Okay, that's actually E, but again, we're not worried about the names of the notes right now. Then you can play the 10th fret on the D string with your second finger, and then to 9. Back up to 10. So, so far we've got 7, 10, 9, 10. Okay, and then I'm playing nine on the D string. Seven, ten, nine, ten, seven on the D. Ten, nine, ten, back on the A. Back to the A string. Okay, so that that little thing there never really changes, just the roots change, the first note. So it goes 7, 10, 9, 10, 10, 9, 10. Okay, and instead of playing this 
seven on the next one. Like some people use their pinky there. It's twelve on the thick string, the bottom E. I like to use my third just because it's comfortable for me. So then I go 12, 10, 9, 10, 9 on the D, 10, 9, 10. You see the pattern emerge in here. So the first section, sorry, I'll do it with the correct fingers. The second section, So you see this bit here just kind of repeats, right? And then we play with the second finger, 10, on the bottom E, and do the same riff again. And then finally, 9 on the bottom E. So if I do the whole thing slowly, here we go. just add a bit of speed when you get more comfortable. So in the very beginning, there's no palm muting at all going on, okay? Okay, no muting there. But as he gets into the first verse, he palms it down. Right, you hear the difference? So... Okay, and that just adds dynamic to the track. So as he goes round, so on that last one, when you're going to play nine, so seven, twelve, ten. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So now I'm using one finger to cover the bottom three strings. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If you can use separate fingers like that, even better. So that's just on the ninth fret. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we're into the chorus. Okay, now he goes up to the 14th fret. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. 10th fret. Then there's this little lick on there. So what I'm doing there, I'm actually playing an F sharp octave. That means it's kind of like a power chord, but we're not playing the middle D string, we're muting it. Okay, you see that there? First finger on the ninth fret, third finger on the A, so first finger's on the A. Uh, third finger's on the uh, 11th fret on the G, the D strings being muted, and the open E actually rings out. Okay, now that moves, so now we're on the 9th, 9th, 10th, 12th, back to 9th. Okay. Losing my side, losing my mind. At some point as well, he just holds out on the 12th fret. I think it's after the first chorus, so... Okay. 
okay? Then it's like the second part of the chorus. <laughs> I'm still doing this down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. 14. And by the way, you can do downstrokes. Okay, whatever you're comfortable with. So it's 14, 10, 5, back to 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then they do this thing where they kind of drop the first note. So the easiest way to do it is if you're doing down ups, you should start on the up. So you go one and two and three and four and two and three and four and three and four and two and three and four and and two and three and four and. So what you want to do, guys, is listen to the original track. They're pretty much most of the riffs you're going to hear in there. You'll be able to construct it together. Enjoy. So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget to give me the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I do these lessons every single week. You can find some links below to Spotify, Instagram and Facebook if you want to send me a message. I'll do my very best to reply, okay guys? I'll see you again the same time next week. Enjoy. Enjoy.